Hey guys, I am back with another video. You guys haven't seen me in a while. Um, it hadn't been too long, but hi, I'm back. So I'm going to touch on a few things today um, that's been on my heart these last couple of weeks that I just feel like, I mean, we all in this thing together, so we all probably going through the same things. Um, I'm going to kind of go quickly because I'm using my phone um, and I don't know how much storage space I have. So bear with me. The main thing is to get the word out. Um, so I pray that all hearts and minds are clear in the name of Jesus. Amen. Um, to be able to receive what the Lord has placed on my heart. So uh, the first scripture I want to go to is Galatians 6 and 9. It tells us to do not grow weary in well doing for in due season the Lord, if you don't give up. The Lord is going to uh, bring forth a harvest to those who do not grow weary and well-doing. And that being said, I know that there's a lot of folk, including myself, that are going through situations. And it's like, it's easy just to throw your hands up and, and be like, you know what? To heck with all of this, uh, all of this <laughs> good living and, and everything like that. But I encourage you guys to keep on doing what you're doing because if you don't give up there's something waiting for you there's something right around the corner and most of the time when we want to give up that's right at the break point right at the point where if you just keep that mouth closed and keep doing what that boss tell you to do next thing you know you're gonna have a promotion um, so I would just I would just say that what I've been experiencing lately at work and with uh, all types of things that I've been going through don't give up because there's going to be a time where the, the, the last will be first and the first is going to be last. And so I encourage you guys to, to stay strong and to hold on. Do not grow weary and well-doing because the price will be paid. Matter of fact, it's already been paid. It's already done, to be honest. Um, we just we just waiting on that check, <laughs> that harvest. And we got to hold God accountable. God, this is what your word says. This is what you said if I don't grow weary and well-doing. And you're going you're gonna to bring forth that harvest. Um, the next point. I want to go to is uh, James uh, chapter chapter three, and it talks about controlling our tongues, controlling our tongues and our mouths, ma'am. I'm telling you, I'm not perfect, and I know y'all ain't either. <laughs> because if you was, why would Jesus have to die on that cross? Um, so James three, it tells us, dear brothers and sisters, not many of you should become teachers in the church. For we who teach will be judged more strictly. Indeed, we all make mistakes. We all make mistakes. For if we could control our tongues, we would be perfect and could control ourselves in every other way. Um, we can make a large horse go wherever we want by means of small bit in his mouth. But and a small rudder makes a huge ship turn wherever the pilot chooses to go, even through the wind. Even though the wind, the winds are strong. In the same way, the tongue is a small thing that makes grand speeches. So that being said, boy, that tongue boy will get you in some trouble. And I'm telling you right now, uh, my mouth has caused me to get <laughs> into some trouble, caused me to have some doors shut, caused me to get some doors to open. And so I'm telling you guys, like, keep that mouth shut. The Bible tells us that it's that you should be quick to quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. So keep the ear open. But don't we sometimes we do too much of this and sometimes too much of this will get us in trouble. So I encourage you guys to continue to watch your mouth. Guard your tongue. This thing is is powerful, boy. You can hurt feelings, you can say some things that you regret. And God wants us to have that soft spirit. We're supposed to be showing. We're supposed to be being quiet spirited and, and, and more like Jesus Christ every single day. Um and so I would just encourage you guys to do that. Also meditate on that scripture John I mean James chapter 3 and 4 I would encourage you guys to go over that um, also Galatians 6 and 9 remember that do not grow weary and well doing and do season that 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 harvest is coming but you have to have faith and believe God by faith that it's gonna come in due season and and the best is yet to come some people you think that you know we got it always oh, this is it this is it no the best is yet to come um, I love you guys. Sorry this was a quick video, but I had to get that out. I pray that you guys have an awesome rest of the week. Have a beautiful weekend. It's nice out here in Texas. Um, I absolutely love you guys. Um, 
continue to look at my blogs at jasmineking.org. Follow me on Instagram, jasmineking1. Love you guys.